In today's video, I'm going to show you the top 10 Google Sheets keyboard shortcuts. So the first keyboard shortcut would be the copy and paste. So to copy and paste, all we have to do is to select the data or range that we want to copy, go to your keyboard and press the keys Control or Command C, and you'll see this dotted outline that will show you that we have copied the data and now to paste it. Select where you want to paste it, press the keys Control or Command V. And there you have it, we've pasted our data. Let's try that again. Copy this, select the cell you want to copy, press the keys Control or Command C, and you will see your dotted outline right here. Now time to paste it, Control V or Command V. And there you have it. Our next keyboard shortcut would be the undo and redo. So to undo or pasting, all we have to do is to press the keys Control or Command Z. To redo the pasting would be to press on the keys Control or Command Y. So one more time to undo, Control or Command Z. And to redo, Control or Command Y. Our next keyboard shortcut is to jump to our end cells. We're going to do that by pressing on Control or Command and your arrow keys. So press on Control or Command and then your right arrow key to go to the end of your columns. And going back to the first is to press on the Control or Command and your arrow left key. To go to the bottom, Control or Command arrow down. One more time to go back up, Control or Command arrow up. Next keyboard shortcut would be to select all. To select our range, we can press on Control or Command A. Now if you press it one more time, Control or Command A, now we've selected all of the cells in our spreadsheet. So one more time to select our data or our range, press Control or Command A once. To select all the cells in our spreadsheet is to press Control or Command A twice. Our next keyboard shortcut would be the Shift key with our arrow keys. So if you just want to select some of your range without moving your mouse pointer, all you have to do is to hold on the shift key and your arrow keys. So to go to the right, just press on the right arrow key, then go down. And if you want to go back, you can do so by just holding on to that shift key. Our next keyboard shortcut would be our lock range with our F4 key. So let's say we have a formula on computing our sum right here. There is our range, press on tab, and you have the total budget. Now, if you want to lock your range right here, all you have to do is to press on the F4 key. If you press it once, you have locked both your rows and your columns. Press it again and you've just locked your rows and press it one more time to just lock your columns. That's for your lock range shortcut. So our next keyboard shortcut is all about showing you the description of your formula. So if you press on F1, it will show you the details of your function and all the examples and description of each element in your formula. So our next keyboard shortcut, let's say you don't want to continue with this formula anymore, all you have to do is to press on the escape key on your keyboard. So our next keyboard shortcut would be our number format. Let's say you want to select this range and you want to put it in bold. All you have to do is to press Control or Command B. Another keyboard shortcut in formatting these values would be to hold on to the Control and Shift and then number 1. So we've removed our currency. So this is our plain number format. If you go to Control Shift or Command Shift 2, we have formatted this into the time. If now we go to Control Shift and 3, it has formatted into a date and 4 to the currency. 5 would be your percentage. So let's go back to 4 where we have our currency. Last but not least is our drag down shortcut. So let's remove this right here to show our example. So we have a formula right here, and if we to drag this down, all we have to do is to do it this way. Or we can also double click on this corner to fill in the rest of our data. So one way to do this with your keyboard shortcut would be to drag this down and to just press on the keys Control or Command D. 
and we have fill in the rest with our keyboard shortcut. So we can also drag it to the right, select the range that we want to fill, and then press the keys Ctrl or Command R. And there you have it. Those were the top 10 Google Sheets keyboard shortcuts. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.